official Wandering Weekends campground review for Little Okmulgee State Park near McCray, Georgia. Welcome back friends. If you're new to the channel, let me go ahead and tell you how we do things a little bit. We break our campground reviews down into six different categories and we those categories score from one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best. The categories are accessibility, scenery, cost, comforts, atmosphere, and kid-friendly. Let's get started with Little Okmulgee State Park. As always, you got to get there first and that's why we start with accessibility. Accessibility for Little Okmulgee was really great until you actually get into the campground and then things tighten up a good bit. Our campsite number 34 was at the opposite angle so we literally had to go in, turn around in an empty pull through, thankfully there was an empty pull through to turn around in, and try to back in that way. It was just a pretty much a pain to be honest with you. And then the dump station is kind of weird, it's not level, so that docked at a few points. Accessibility scores a 7. Next up is scenery, and the Spanish moss hanging from the trees helps the scenery a little bit. There's a, a good bit of trees in the campground, so that helps as well. But all in all, you're being packed in kind of tight, so scenery that scored wasn't that great, scored a six. Next up is cost, and I always feel like I need to explain this one a little bit. Uh, obviously, Cracker Bell is free, so cost would score a 10 here. Uh, there's no free camping at Georgia State Parks, obviously. Not a bad deal, not a bad value, but as far as cost is concerned, 35 bucks is going to get you water and electricity. The cable sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, so I'm not going to add a point or take away a point for that. Cost scores a five. Fourth category is comforts, and this just talks about, uh, this category is all about what's outside the park, dining, shopping, stuff like that. Comforts at Little Lock Mogi is actually pretty good. There's, uh, there's no big box stores like Walmart or Home Depot, but there are small department stores if you forgot some gloves or needed some underwear or something a little weird like that. Then you also have auto park stores, so you'll be fine there. Motor home and tow vehicles uh, should be taken care of there. There is a little Outfitters in downtown McRae, Georgia. Uh, that's about it as far as shopping is concerned. And then there's a couple of good restaurants. So we went to the Cedar Lane Supper Club, which was good. Uh, that's in the middle of nowhere. It's a very interesting place. And then there's uh, the Southern Star Grill, which is actually in McRae. We preferred the grill a little bit, but they were both really, really good. Comfort scores an eight. Second to last category is atmosphere, and this just judges, like, how was it? You know, how was it camping there? Was it was it awesome? Was it just okay? And it was just okay. Uh, Little Lock Mulgee has a lot of room, but for some reason, it's an older park, so the sites are really tight. Um, you, you get a lot of, you're really close to your neighbor. And one of our neighbors, I'm pretty sure, was Cheech and Chong. So, I mean, like, every 30 minutes, we were just like, holy cow. So that ducks from the score a little bit to each their own, but, you know, I don't, I get tired of dodging it from my kids all the time. Uh, it hurt the score a little bit. Atmosphere scored a seven. Last up, our favorite category, and that's kid friendly. And Little Okmulgee's okay here. Uh, besides the Cheech and Chong issue, we had the uh, swing set was pretty close. Uh, there was also uh, toddler swings there, which you don't find that much in Georgia State Parks. The only reason we docked this was the, um, the road was a little sandy in places, so the bikes, you know, they could slip and slide a little bit. And then uh, a lot of kids weren't wearing helmets. And you know, most of the time the state parks are good about enforcing that, but for some reason they're getting away with it uh, at Little Lock Mulgee. Uh, and then the main playground was a, a good walk away, so that docked the score a little bit, but still scored pretty good. Scores an eight. On to the bonus round, and no bonus points for Little Lock Mulgee. Second to last slide is our couple of good sites slide, and this is really important because there's a lot of uneven sites at Little Lock Mulgee. That was another thing that docked on the accessibility score. But that I didn't mention, but a lot of uneven sites. But these sites are pretty darn good, 37, 47, and 48. If you can score those, that's going to be about as good as you're going to do at uh, this state park. Add it all up, and Little Okmulgee State Park near McRae, Georgia, scores a 41. That's probably, I'd say that's an average score. Um, it's not the best score by, by any means. I think if we'd had some different neighbors, maybe this would score a little bit better. Um, yeah, it just uh, and, the, and the sites are tight, so uh, I'm not sure we'll be back because there's a lot of better options in that area of Georgia, but we're certainly glad we went. 
Friends, thank you so much for all the compliments you give us on our campground reviews. We hear it all the time. Uh, when you're starting thinking about booking a campground, you go to our channel to see if we've reviewed it yet. And that is a sincere compliment to us. So we, we're humbled by that, and we really do appreciate it. So uh, keep, up, wa keep watching for us. It really helps the channel. And if this does help, uh, consider sharing and subscribing. See you guys.